Hey everybody, listen, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of the show The Walking Dead. I know, I know, don't, don't judge, but it is a great show and I know there's a lot of you out there that love it too, but I bet you might not have known that there's a guy right here from Dayton, Ohio who played on that show, The Walking Dead. Uh, you know what, his name is Vincent M. Ward. I've been talking to him a little bit about coming out to check out the Ohio State game and be at the big game party. Uh, for our grand opening. So I'm gonna see if I can FaceTime and see what's up. Steve, man, what's going on, bro? SVG Motors, we here. OH. I O. I O. O H. I O. I O, man, I'm good. No complaints, man, no complaints. Happy to be coming home. Happy to be here helping you guys out. You know, run into some old friends. Time to have some fun, baby. That's great, Vincent. You know what? I'm so excited. Look, we do a TV show, SVG Motors Weekly, and I thought maybe I'd give you an opportunity. Before you come out here, I want you to have a chance to say uh, what's up to your Dayton fans. Oh, man, it's my pleasure, man. I want to thank you for having me. You know, without you, it wouldn't be me being here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got to change hats. See, I'm representing. <laughs> been here in LA for 16 years, but my heart and soul still belongs to OHIO. Yeah. But hey, man, make sure y'all come out. Come on, check me out, man. Come say hi. You know, Trotwood, Vandalia, Inglewood, Beaver Creek. Come on and say what's up to your boy. You know, ain't nothing changed with me. I'm still Vincent M. Ward. So we're gonna be at SVG Motors. Y'all make sure y'all come and support them as well. So, hey man, the premiere for this season's Walking Dead was crazy. It was a little over the top, man. I think it had to be like that. It had to be something that was gonna catch everybody's attention for the simple fact that they had been putting everybody on hold and suspense for over the last four or five months. So. You know, they did it big. Shouts out to my man Steven and Michael, AKA Glenn and Abraham. They had a nice run on there, but you know, it's The Walking Dead. Everybody can't last. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So what's it like to work with a guy like Rick and Daryl? I know they're like super popular, but what are they like in real life? Uh, so what I think about Rick and Daryl, how are they? Real laid back guys, leaders of the show, doing big things. Uh, I call them Norman and, and, and Andy. Uh, without them, the show ain't gonna run. I don't care who they bring. They can bring me, they can bring Michelle, they can bring the governor, but at the end of the day, honestly, it's all about Rick. He's the, he's the captain of that ship, so. Real laid back guys, real professional. Miss them. You know, I see them at the conventions, say what's up, and keep it moving. So what was it like to be on the set of The Walking Dead? In particular, the amazing season three when they were at the prison and all that. That was so intense. What was it like? Wow, season three, my season. Honestly, and I'm not just saying it because I was on it, but I honestly think that was one of the best seasons because of the storylines, because of the characters, because of Woodbury, because of the prison. You know, season one and season two, you were used to these people just being nice and oh my God, there's a walker, run. But season three came along and they was hard. And honestly, I didn't even see season one and season two until after I was working on the show because I didn't even know what The Walking Dead was. So, uh, I have to be honest with y'all about that. But now that I'm a part of the family and I'm still doing the conventions after all these years, very grateful to be a part of it and for it to still be running from the seventh season, third episode coming up, what can I say? The Walking Dead, baby. All right, Vincent, look, I know that The Walking Dead is a huge show and so many people know about it, but those people here in the Dayton area that aren't familiar with the show, you know, what else have you done? Share with, with our fans, uh, your Dayton fans, what you what all the shows you've been on besides that, movies and things like that. What have I been on? Besides the Buckeyes. <laughs> oh man, I started my career in Columbus. I started doing plays and my first uh, independent film was called A Symbol of Love in Columbus. And in Cincinnati, I did my first big film called Traffic with Michael Douglas. Went from there to uh, Ocean's Eleven, Bringing Down the House, 
NCIS, CSI, CSI Miami, Everybody Hates Chris. Okay. A uh, few movies. Got a movie coming out called Death House. Uh, True Blood. Oh. Man, I've been on a lot of stuff. VincentMWard.com. VincentMWard.com. Check it out. Very grateful, man. It, 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 hey, it's been 16, 17 years, so this didn't happen overnight. Trust and believe, and if it did, it probably wouldn't be lasting as long as it is now. Man, Vincent, that's awesome. So, folks, look, down to earth, cool guy. You gotta support my buddy, VincentMWard.com. You can go to his website, check out his stuff, go see his movies. And uh, by the way, Vincent, didn't I see you on some kind of a commercial with a little dog? They brought this on themselves. Now it's war and I want them dead. The fleas and ticks? Their whole gang. We can do that. Only Brevecto kills fleas and ticks for up to 12 weeks with one tasty chew. Oh yeah, the good old Brevecto commercial. Me and three of these big dudes. I'm 6'4", 260. The dude behind me was seven foot. The dude over there was 6'6". Six, six. The dude over there was 6'5", 400 pounds. I'm the smallest guy in the commercial besides the little dog. But people seem to love that commercial and they ran it a lot. And uh, that was my first lead. That was at a 16, 17 years, that was my first time leading in a commercial. So very grateful for that. I hear that. Look, thank you so much, Vincent. I'm looking forward to seeing you. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate you flying all the way out here from Los Angeles, California. Hey, I just want to say thank you. And I want everybody to come out this holidays, Thanksgiving, SVG Motors, my oh, man Steve. I just want to say, hey, man, thank you for allowing me to come home the holidays and see my people. Dayton, Vandalia, Beaver Creek, all of y'all. I'm expecting y'all to be there. Support, support, support. All right, take the hat off so I can see you now. There it is. Vincent M. Ward, AKA Oscar. Look, take care, have a good one, brother.